Hey guys, Don here for Arcade Raid and welcome to a brand new video. So Moana, definitely one of the biggest animated movie releases of 2016. This movie has so much content and history surrounding it that you probably couldn't get it all covered in one video. But that's not gonna stop me from making a video on it. So welcome to things that you probably did not know about Moana. 1. So here's a quick rundown of the actual plot of the movie. Young navigator Moana voiced by Ali Carvalho if I have the name correct, the daughter of a Polynesian tribal chief is chosen to find a precious artifact that could save her people. She teams up with demigod Maui voiced by Dwayne Johnson to locate a legendary island and together the pair explore fantastical lands and encounter incredible creatures in this animated adventure from Disney. 2. Dwayne Johnson is a firm believer that voice acting is the most difficult career in acting and is personally annoyed by celebrities being cast in animated films despite their bad delivery in voice in their characters. When Johnson was cast for this film, he repeatedly asked the other voice actors present if he was indeed given a good performance. Now that's true dedication to the job. 3. Lin-Manuel Miranda was signed on to write the music for Moana before the Broadway stage musical Hamilton became a worldwide phenomenal hit. After it did, he would often chat with the rest of the crew through Skype from backstage, sometimes still in costume. 4. When he first gets his hook and is trying to shapeshift, Maui changes into various animals. For a split second, he turns into Sven the Reindeer from Frozen. 5. With actors and actresses consisting of Dwayne Johnson, Oli Corvallo, Rachel House, Temuera Morrison, Nicole Scherzinger, Oscar Kingley, and Troy Polamalu, this marks the first time where Polynesian performers are the main focus of a Disney or Hollywood film. 6. In an October 20th, 2014 interview with Huffington Post, director Ron Clements recalls the experience of visiting the islands of the South Pacific to gain artistic and authentic references for the film. When we visited those islands, John Muska and I were especially interested in meeting the people who lived on the islands where they had grown up, surrounded by the ocean. We wondered how that might affect your point of view, and we learned a lot. We learned all kinds of things that we didn't know. We learned how the sea and the land are one and the same, how these people think of the ocean as something that unites the islands, not something that separates them, and then we learned about the great migration and how the people of the islands take great pride in the fact that their ancient ancestors invented this way of navigation called the Dead Reckoning, which involves studying the stars and the currents, and way before the European explorers or the Vikings, these people had this very very incredibly advanced techniques of navigation. As Clemens continued, so many of these ideas in terms of respect for nature, respect for the ocean and the elements, all of these things really had a huge influence on us and then began to make their way into this film's story. One continued, which is why Moana is now the most ambitious thing that John and I have ever attempted. There's definitely an epic aspect to the story, not to mention huge opportunities for comedy and action and adventure, but at the same same time there's also a key relationship at the very heart of this story, an emotional core that I think is especially important with this film, but as with any of these things, you just hope that in the end, you can get it right. 7. The villager who suggests cooking Hey Hey is voiced by Alan Tudyk, he also provides Hey Hey's vocal effects. 8. Most of the characters are Pacific Island language names or words. Moana means ocean and blue, both in Hawaiian and Moari. The Vaiana name that was used both in the European and Asian release means freshwater, so less fitting but still water based. Hey Hey Moana's pet rooster means chicken in Moari. Pua Moana's pet dog means offspring or flower and is also possibly short for Puawa meaning pig. Maui the demigod is the name of a Polynesian demigod and the second largest Hawaiian island. Tui or Moana's father is a name of a bird native to the Polynesian islands. Tala Moana's grandmother means story in Samoan due to the character telling the legend of Maui, Te Fiti and Te Ka at the beginning of the movie and is the name of the goddess of the stars in Tagalog mythology. Tamatao, the great crab, means trophies in Maori. 
2009. Starting December 2014, Disney hosted a global casting call for the role of Moana. Thousands of girls auditioned for the role throughout the internet and actual casting calls in different locations. Nearly a year later, in October 2015, Disney officially announced that the lucky newcomer who will voice Moana is a Hawaiian native Oli Carvalho. 10. This is the fifth consecutive Disney animated feature for Alan Tudyk, following Wreck-It Ralph from 2012, Frozen from 2013, Big Hero 6 from 2014, and Zootopia from 2016. 11. Moana is the first full-length computer animated feature film to be written and directed by John Musker and Ron Clements, who were responsible for directing The Great Mouse Detective from 1986, The Little Mermaid from 1989, Aladdin from 1992, Hercules from 1997, Treasure Planet from 2000 and 2 and The Princess and the Frog from 2009, all of which were predominantly in hand-drawn animation. When it was initially rumored that Moana would be made in the hand-drawn slash computer animated technique Meander, introduced with Disney short film Paper Man from 2012, Musk said that it was far too early to apply the Paper Man hybrid technique to this feature. The Meander digital in-between interface still has a host of production issues, including color that need to be perfected. 12. 2016 marks the first time since 2002 where two Disney animated feature films were released the same year. The first two were Lilo and Stitch from 2002 and Treasure Planet from 2002. Zootopia came out 8 months before Moana in 2016. 13. He Hey is voiced by Alan Tudyk, while Paul's vocalizations are sampled from real pigs, making this one of the few animated projects by Disney where neither Frank Welker nor D. Bradley Baker supply the animal vocal effects. 14. Lin Manuel Miranda has stated that The Little Mermaid from 1989 had inspired him to become a songwriter for films just like this. 15. Dwayne Johnson had always wanted to work with directors John Musker and Ron Clements, having loved Aladdin when it came out in 1992, and his daughter both loved Aladdin from 1992 and The Little Mermaid from 1989. 16. Moana was released on its actress Ollie Carvalho's 16th birthday, due to the newer practice of theaters having late showtimes the evening before the release date. 17. Moana's main look includes a tapa top and a pandana skirt with a shredded pandana's underskirt. Costume designer Nessa Bove created the outfit so it would be suitable for an adventurer. The skirt has a slit in front to allow movement. Whether she's swimming, running, or navigating a canoe, says Bove. 18. Inspired by Tawaluga ceremonies of Samao, Bove created a ceremonial garment for Moana that is covered in shells and pearls. Her twigger or headdress has shells from the ocean and red feathers to symbolize royalty. 19. The ocean is more than a setting in Moana, it's a character tasked with creating a rig that would allow creators to pose the ocean and create performances that would showcase the emotion and spirit of the character. The rigging team built a rig with a curved wave-like shape that could be varied depending on the need of the story. 20. The rig allowed the layout to pose the character and animation to create a performance. The effects team added water effects, flowing water, splashes and drips to enhance the look. The creative process included an in-depth look at what was developed for Rapunzel's hair in Tangled. 21. In earlier versions of the film, Hei Hei used to be smart and sassy, but filmmakers felt that character was not unique. Several campaigned to remove the rooster from the film altogether, but a small group of story team members spent a couple of days brainstorming ways to keep the character. The solution? Lower his IQ. The pitch earned so many laughs that Hei Hei was ultimately a keeper. 22. The filmmakers had to create a feather pipeline to deal with the feathers for not only Hei Hei, but for Maui Hawk, the shapeshifted character Maui transformed into with the help of his magical fish hook. Feathers proved challenging in CG animation because of the need to rest on top of each other. 23. Deeply inspired by their time in the Pacific Islands, filmmakers continued to work with several of the people that they met within their trips. The group of advisors came to be known as the Ocean Story Trust or OST. The trust includes anthropologists, educators, linguists, master tattooists, choreographers, hacker practitioners, master navigators, and cultural advisors who collaborated with Disney's creative team. 
24. To create the starry sky featured in Moana, filmmakers turned to astronomers who researched what stars would have been visible in Pacific Island skies 2000 years ago. I like the fact that they try to at least keep things realistic. 25. Here's a quick history lesson. Moana is set 2000 years ago. At that time in actual history, the people of the South Pacific were the greatest explorers on Earth. Using only stars and currents, they accomplished some of the greatest feats of exploration and migration in history. Then one day it stopped for 1000 years. No one knows why. Clements and Musker thought coming up with a story to explain why the exploration stopped would be fertile, and the idea of finding a way mirrored the journey of a young girl at the center of their story. 26. At one point in the film, Moana and Maui encounter the Kakamora, a creepy group of characters who are kind of like walking coconuts. They travel on massive, massive boats and chase Maui and Moana. The visual effect of the characters hanging all over them in a chase scene was absolutely inspired by the visuals and actions of Man Max Fury Road, according to Clements and Musker. 27. One of the most impressive things about Disney animation is how every movie they make couldn't have been made a few years before. As software and hardware advances, the production is constantly pushing what's available to its absolute limit. For example, Moana is 80% visual effects shots. Compare that to the recent Big Hero 6, which was less than 50%. Most of those effects are water, one of the hardest things there is to animate, and the effects team admitted this movie could not have been processed five years ago. Technologically, it just could not happen. 28. There is a fallen statue of Maui on a desert island that seems to allude to Percy Bysshe Shelley's classic poem Ozymandias. Ozymandias was an egotistical ruler from ancient times, but all that remained of him was a fallen statue with a broken nose. 29. Moana is the first feature film produced by Osnat Shira, who is currently the Vice President of Development at Walt Disney Animation Studios. In an October 20, 2014 Huffington Post interview, Shira stated, As much as I loved all the projects currently in development, WDAS or Walt Disney Animation Studios has a very strong development slate and amazing filmmakers at the helm. I particularly resonate with Moana for a number of reasons. This film details with an exciting and lesser known culture which is right up my alley. It's a fantastic story and Moana has this awesome feisty interesting female protagonist. Shura explained, so that when Ron and John asked if I would be their producer and I said I would very much like to, John Lasseter, Ed Catmull and Andrew Milston thought it was a fantastic match. So that's just about it for this video. If you liked it, learned anything new or want more, feel free to smash the like button down below, share this video with your friends and subscribe for cool new videos almost every single week. Thanks for watching and if you want to suggest a future video, you can easily do so by leaving a comment down below. Once again, thanks for watching guys and I will be seeing you in the next video.